Welcome to the stock workout where we flex on the market to make gains. In this video I'm going to be talking about Sentonix Holdings, ticker symbol SENS. Now this had a brilliant day. Um, if you, any of you saw my previous video, I pointed out this bullish flag. Uh, I pointed it out over the weekend. Monday we just continued in that flag just going up and down. I did mention that. We continued with this flag formation all the way up until today and we finally saw that breakout. Uh, that breakout was brilliant. Up 15.10% for the day, closed at $3.43 and post market now we are up to $3.49. So absolutely brilliant. Um, a funny thing, somebody dropped a comment down below and said, what tool do I use to work out the stock? <laughs> so this is the tool that I use. It's called Trading View. This is the tool that I use to work out them stocks and find out how to make them gains. Uh, absolutely brilliant from Sense. This beautiful flag formation, absolutely perfect. Um, picture perfect in my opinion, and we had a brilliant breakout. But where to next? That's the question on everyone's mind. So let's get into it. On the screen, I have the 21 day EMA alongside the 50, 100 and 200 day moving averages. I have the volume on the screen and also the RSI. So if we backtrack a tiny bit to where I have drawn this flag formation, we had the pole here, we had the consolidation of price here, the price was just fluctuating in and out of this, it held along that 21 day EMA pretty well held above that and we finally saw that breakout as it was consolidating. Now um, it did take one to sort of around two and a half to three days uh, for that breakout to come but as long as that price was holding within that flag formation it was nothing to worry about. So I, wa I was watching it over the last two days and I was watching it today as well and I was waiting for that breakout uh, because the price action was becoming tighter and tighter and finally we have seen that breakout. I don't think anyone can complain with 15% up for the day. I think that makes everyone happy. So now let's talk about volume. So volume was a little bit lower yesterday. Volume picked up in the later hours of today when we had that breakout. Volume for the day was 68 0.26 million average volume in the last 10 days was 47 million market cap currently sat at 1.46 billion so the volume wasn't too too high um i know that back here volume was around 220 million or it was over 220 20 million I think it was um, so volume was only about one and a half times its average 10 day volume however we have had that breakout so even though we don't have volume as high as 200 million 68 million is still good because it is higher than the 10 day average volume so we've got that breakout but where to next so immediately looking at this now this is the hourly chart that I've got up and bear in mind that post market this price is going to be fluctuating because I am recording this at the time that post market is going on. Um, but immediately one thing that I can see from this is from this breakout over here, the RSI has gone into the overbought territory. Now with the RSI, anything over 70 is overbought, anything under 30 is oversold. So we did have a breakout. We had a breakout, but the RSI now has gone into overbought territory. So what does that mean? That means I am now expecting a pullback. Now, that doesn't mean that this can't run higher. This may run higher and the RSI may even go even higher than it is now. Currently, the RSI is sat at 76. It could go higher and then there might be a pullback, but do expect a pullback at a certain point, whether that be immediately after this little breakout here or, well, I shouldn't say little, it was a decent breakout, 15%. Um, after this breakout here, or it may run even further and it may the price may go further up before having a pullback, but I'm pretty sure it will have a breakout um i mean a pullback i mean a pullback it will have a pullback at a certain point so do keep an eye out for that that rsi is in the overbought territory at the moment it needs to come back down it needs to come back down into this range down here an example of that was a few days ago when sense broke out here you can see that rsi went all the way from around 45 it went to a high of 82 the price increased massively and then it did decline slightly now when it declined you saw the rsi come back into the range between 30 and 70 so rsi came back to 61 but that doesn't mean that the price just carries on going down 
it was still heavily up for the day for for the after hours and the pre-market it was still heavily up and the next day it picked up again and it had another breakout so the rsi will go up and down that is just something to keep an eye out on for those who are you know swinging this or trading it day by day or even worried about the price coming down after going up so much i would say don't be worried about it because it's healthy for it to have a pullback so that rsi can come back into this range the rsi cannot just continue going off the charts and stay at 100 um it would need a pullback for there to be healthy chart action so that's just an example here of a run-up rsi went into overbought it came back down and the price came back down also and then it broke out once again so now that this rsi um on this breakout today now the rsi has gone up to 76 it is in the overbought territory so i do expect a pullback at a certain point it may run f further it may run higher before there's that pullback but there will be a pullback at a certain point so do keep an eye out for that don't panic because the overall trend is it still going up as you can see uh since sensonics released their news we we had this breakout here and we've just been setting higher lows so it is trending upwards now it's setting higher lows and it is also setting higher highs now even if there's a pullback here and it comes back down somewhere around here nothing to worry about it's nothing to worry about because the support level that i have identified is over here so if i mark that on the chart what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this um flag formation that i drew previously tidy up the chart for everybody this would act like our support right here around two dollars eighty now i'd call that our level of support two dollars eighty i'll move that up slightly it was on two dollars seventy nine i would call that our level of support now if there is a sell off a retracement the rsi comes back down a little bit as long as that price is holding above two dollars eighty there is nothing to worry about there's nothing to worry about because you've got to look at the bigger picture on this hourly chart you can see it on here the run up from when we had this breakout if i draw an in info line here from there to where it is now we have had a run up of 67 percent so yes it did uh, it ran up it retraced a little bit there was a slight sell-off healthy price action remember that healthy chart action and then it broke out again and then it did it a third time as well in the last few days from the 3rd of june we've had a run-up of 67 percent so even if there is a slight sell-off and it comes down here just remember that's healthy just wait for the next uh, breakout again sensonics is doing great things we know that we know the fundamentals are great for the company um, they are making their cgm for type 1 diabetics and there are a lot of type 1 diabetics out there now i remember a few months ago they partnered with a company that specialized in diabetic technology and the sales of it so sensonics with their device and the device is absolutely brilliant and 100 180 day sensor compared to the 14 day sensors that its competitors are making is, is a game changer now they've partnered with a company that is um specializes in selling them in america and in europe they did this a few months ago so this company is going to grow it's a it's a, it's a growing company but let's not get off topic so we had a huge run up 67 percent in the last few trading days so even if this price comes down and i do expect it to come down slightly just because the rsi is in overbought territory we just need to hold above two dollars eighty now i'm going to be slightly optimistic when i say this um i don't think it's going to come down to two dollars eighty as long as there isn't a violent sell-off even if it does retrace i don't expect it to come down to two dollars eighty otherwise it would have just wiped out these gains that it's had today so i do expect it to come down slightly it could come down as much as it wants but i don't see it hitting two dollars eighty if it breaks that two dollars eighty then we may see that price uh break down further as well the next support below that would be at around this two dollars and 59 and then after that we are talking back to the two dollar range uh the early the low two dollar range so two dollars 80 is that is my level of support i don't want to see it come down to that i'm slightly optimistic and i don't think it will come down to that because the news was pretty brilliant that sensonics released i don't think it will come down to that but if it does guys keep an eye out on that price point now let's talk about resistance levels where is this stock going so with this huge run-up that we've had here so previously um this is the hourly chart still we have to go back a few months so back in march uh we had a double top formation here 
we got rejected once here came back down got rejected a second time and then we saw a huge sell-off so that all well, that was around this point here around three dollars forty so three dollars forty we had a double top and we had a breakdown of the price we were unable to break above three dollars forty now with this breakout that we've had today we have broken through that resistance level that would have been the resistance level that i was looking for us to break out of we've broken out of that so what's next we just need to sustain the price above that we need to hold the three dollars and forty price point we need to hold above that double top here currently the price is three dollars 49 we close that three dollars 43 we need to go above that and hold above that if we can hold above that and we can close above that then we do have a level of support at three dollars 40. so just remember three dollars 40 that is a price point we want to stay above but after that, where is the actual next resistance level, seeing as we are above that price point? Uh, the next resistance level is all the way up here. This is a previous uh, price point we were unable to break out of. And that comes in at $3.91. So at $3.91. $3.91. That is our next uh, price target. That is a target that we need to break above. So that does leave quite a large gap between this uh, support level and resistance level. But do remember that if we can hold this $3.40 level, that would be our immediate support level. So price target $3.91. That's what we're looking to break out of next. We need to be trending upwards and towards that and eventually break out of that. So that's that's something to keep an eye out on uh, that may be a bit further down the line because RSI currently is in the overbought territory so we may see a little bit of zigzag action but as long as the overall trend is upwards I do believe we may break out of this at some point um, I don't know how soon I don't know how long it will take but if we continue trending upwards even if it isn't a zigzag pat pattern because as there's a lot of buying and the RSI goes into overbought, there needs to be a sell-off just to keep the stock healthy. Um, and then eventually we will break out $3.91. So that's it for this video. I think I've covered everything that I need to cover. Um, I've given you a couple of price points, things to keep an eye out on. Uh, I do expect a pullback. I've mentioned that too. If you appreciate this analysis, uh, drop the video a like. Hit subscribe button so I can keep bringing you more content. And I'll see you on the next one.